Hello everyone and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews video and today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Skullbuster from the recent Caliban Build-A-Figure wave. Here we have Skullbuster in the front window, the X-Men logo, Skullbuster name, Legends logo, Caliban Build-A-Figure logo there at the top, the X logo there. Then we get some very cool artwork here on the side of Skullbuster as well as on the back. We also have all the other figures needed in this wave to complete the Caliban Build-A-Figure. In the top we have the read-up, an enemy of the X-Men, the Cyborg Skullbuster is a member of the villainous gang called the Reavers. And down here at the bottom we have the UPC code so you can check with your local retailer to see if they have this in stock. But enough about that, let's get this open and take a look at Skullbuster. And here is Skullbuster outside of his packaging, and I will admit I am not too knowledgeable on the Reavers. They weren't really featured as often in the comic books as you would have other characters that were featured or other villains. But all the same, I still think it is very cool that Hasbro is giving us more and more villains for the X-Men lineup. Uh, we do have some reused body parts for this figure, which really isn't a big deal. Uh, we do get some very cool accessories, something that I hope Hasbro keeps the trend going. Uh, we get an additional head sculpt that is not meant for this figure. It's actually meant if you have a nuke body that you can put it onto, and I will show you that because we'll definitely take a look at it, and I think that is really cool. Similar to Mystique, how they included a Lalandra head sculpt for Silver Sable, uh, I just think that is awesome that Hasbro is doing that. When standing straight up, this figure does come in at 6.5 inches tall, which puts him at about 16.5 centimeters. He does also come with the right arm to Caliban, which of course we'll look at that when we're putting Caliban together. So let's go ahead and jump in. We'll take a look at that extra head sculpt. We'll take a look at that gun, and then we'll get a better look at Skullbuster. And here is the gun that we get with Skullbuster, and yeah, I think it's actually kind of cool looking. So it is another reused Deathlock part, so it's the same gun that we got with Deathlock, but I think it is really well done. So I've talked about how a lot of the Marvel Legends weapons don't look real, they look sci-fi looking. This is sort of an in-between. It looks like something that could exist in the real world. Uh, but does still maintain some of those sci-fi elements to it. So I think it's actually really cool. I like it a lot, and uh, you know I think it works for the character. Uh, so I mentioned with the alternate head that that is sort of designed with a nuke body in mind, so it just so happens that I got an extra nuke. So let's go ahead and open him up real quick, and we'll get this head on there and uh, check that out, and then we'll take a look at Skullbuster. And starting first here with that extra head that we get. So this head is for a character named Reese, which is another member of the Reavers. And basically, you can throw it on a nuke body and you get a whole nother character, which I think is actually a very cool thing that Hasbro did. Uh, I like this idea of getting us extra head sculpts. Uh, for other bodies that we might have, and then getting a completely different character. You will notice that the flesh tone is a little bit off. The, the head for this one is a little bit of a uh, lighter shade than the rest of it. And looking at the head, though, I did notice this plastic piece just kind of comes off. I mean, it's a relatively generic-looking sculpt, in all honesty. Like, underneath here, it didn't look like they put a whole lot of effort into detailing the hair, and even the face is a little bit plain looking. But to be fair, when you have that on there, you don't really get to see any of that stuff anyway. So I think that looks just fine. And uh, yeah, I think that's really cool. We get some very cool design on that head that, uh, like I said, it gets us a whole nother character. So I like that. Switching now over to Skullbuster here. So we see a very cool design. I actually really like this. I wish I did know more about this character simply because uh, of how cool this face sculpt is. and uh, Or the paint, really. I guess the sculpt is pretty standard, but the paint is really cool looking. I like the red eyes. Yeah, just looks awesome. Looking at the rest of the figure, so he's got this jacket on and uh, really well detailed and it's something that we haven't seen yet so it's not just a reused nuke vest thankfully we actually get those shoulder pads with the spikes in it he's got a uh, magazine there in his front pocket more magazines uh, i kind of wish those would have been painted was the front one was painted yeah so the front one was painted but they didn't paint these back ones yeah that's kind of a bummer and it would have been kind of cool too those shotgun shells if that would have been painted i mean it's on the back so it's not the end of the world but yeah still Bandolier is pretty cool looking. We do get the paint detail on the bullets, so that is kind of cool. And actually even to get the paint detail of the zipper, I like that. Actually the detail of the zipper. Yeah, that jacket's a lot better than I realized when you get up close. 
He does have a sculpted knife. That is a little meh. I don't like that, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, looking at the arm sculpt, pretty standard. We do get, again, a lot of reused parts that we've seen before, uh, similar to the Deathlock hand, just a very metallic and robot-looking open gesture. Then you do get the gripping hand over there for the pistol with the robot side there. And then I didn't show this, but you do have a holster there for that pistol, so that is really cool. I like that you can fit that in there. And then looking at the legs again, just more cybernetics and cool-looking boots. And not really much on the bottom. You got some peg holes there. But, yeah, I mean, it's a really cool design, I think, for the figure. Looking at the articulation, so you have a head that can go side to side without too much issue. Can look down, not too bad, and can look up. Looks like that's about it for looking up. His arms can come up, and they're not too hindered by the uh, shoulder pads. In fact, it's kind of hitting there to where it's almost stopping just shy of the shoulder pads. But, yeah, you do get full rotation, but you are going to hit those shoulder pads on either side. You do have a bicep swivel, double-jointed elbow. Then you do have a rotation and hinge on both hands. You do have an ab crunch underneath that vest, which goes down about that far. And doesn't really seem to go back much. Waist rotation. He does have legs that can come apart a pretty fair amount. Can kick forward. Not bad. Not much backwards. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees. And then he does have a boot cut and hinge and ankle pivot. And finally here we have the entire wave next to each other. We have Beast and Blink, Skullbuster, Jubilee and Weapon X in front of the Caliban Build-A-Figure. And then Gambit and Forge. And that about does it for this review, everyone. So overall, as I said, I don't know a ton about the Reavers as they were not featured in a ton of the comics that I had read at the time. However, it is very cool to just get more and more X-Men based characters. And I especially love that Hasbro gave us the extra head sculpt so that we can create a second character using that nuke body. So I think that is very cool. And uh, I love that Hasbro is kind of doing that trend just because some of us that have been collecting for a while are getting to the point where we have have some extra figures or extra bodies potentially or maybe we've had a figure on display for a while and uh, it's just time to kind of refresh it so even if you don't have an extra nuke you can use the one you have if you don't really have him displayed in a way that uh, you like or maybe you just kind of gotten bored with him being displayed as nuke so I think that is really cool. Uh, with that being said, though, let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure to leave one down there. If you like this review, hit that like button. Subscribe for more content just like this. And as always, thanks for stopping by and watching my video, and have a great day.